Astronomy fans are getting worried about what might happen if Pluto gets too close to Neptune. Big names like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are worried. Therefore, how did Pluto end up traveling in a way that could cross Neptune's orbit? And what would that mean for us on Earth if they collided? Pluto used to be a planet, but it was reclassified as a dwarf planet because of its unusual orbit. Even though it's not a planet anymore, Pluto still fascinates people. Various experts assert that Pluto and Neptune's orbits are getting too close to be safe. They're warning that if the two crash, it could be bad news for Earth. Pluto's path around the Sun is one of a kind. It takes about 248 Earth years to make one trip, and since it was discovered in 1930, it still hasn't completed one full orbit. What's really interesting is that Pluto's orbit is very oval-shaped, unlike the other planets that orbit in near-circular paths. Plus, Pluto's orbit is tilted at a steep angle compared to the main plane of the solar system. One important thing about Pluto's path is that it crosses Neptune's. For about 20 years of its orbit, Pluto actually lies closer to the Sun than Neptune. Why haven't they hit each other yet? It all comes down to gravity from the other planets. When Pluto was first discovered, its orbit was a puzzle for scientists to solve. Most planets orbit in line with the plane of the solar system, but Pluto's is tilted and stretched out. It became even more puzzling when they realized that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. Even with all these unusual characteristics, Pluto's orbit is steady because of how gravity works in space. The three-body problem explains how three massive objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and pull on each other with gravity. This helps explain the complicated dance that keeps their orbits stable. Concepts like asynchronous libration, nodal vibration, and the VZK oscillation help us understand this puzzle. Scientists say that asynchronous libration is important for keeping things balanced. It ensures that when Pluto's path crosses Neptune's, they are always at least 90 degrees apart. Also, nodal vibration helps by keeping Pluto far above or below Neptune's path when they get close. The VZK oscillation explains why. Although it appears strange, Pluto's orbit remains stable over long periods. Computer models from the late 1980s showed that Pluto's orbit is chaotic, meaning small changes can make a big difference over time. However, these models also showed that Pluto's orbit stays stable for billions of years. Better computer models have helped us see how planets like Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune affect Pluto's path. The way Pluto and Neptune orbit together is key. For every two orbits Pluto makes, Neptune completes three, which helps keep them apart. Jupiter's strong gravity also helps maintain stability, and Saturn adds to the mix. These worlds work together to keep Pluto on track and prevent chaos. Without these mechanisms in place, our solar system would be much more chaotic. Planets could crash into each other or get thrown out of the system. Understanding Pluto's orbit is important because people wonder if it could hit Neptune one day. It helps us understand how the solar system works and how orbits that seem unstable can maintain equilibrium due to gravity. Looking closely at space shows us that things can be complex. Pluto's orbit is an excellent example. Chaos in an orbit means that a planet's path can change significantly based on its starting speed and position. For Pluto, even small changes can alter its path extensively over time. Research from the 1980s showed that, although concepts like asynchronous and nodal libration make Pluto's orbit dependable, it can still be unpredictable. A tiny change in where Pluto starts or how fast it's moving can send it on a very different path over millions of years. Even so, Pluto's orbit has been surprisingly steady for thousands of years. This means that, even though it appears chaotic, there is an order to how Pluto moves around the Sun. When attempting to predict what will happen to planets with orbits like Pluto's, it's hard to make long-term predictions. Scientists can use accurate models to estimate where orbits will eventually go, but there's only so much we can know for sure. These models depend on having the right starting information and being able to simulate all the complex factors that influence orbits. 
Even a small mistake can significantly alter predictions, making it difficult to be precise. The way orbits like Pluto's behave reminds us that the universe is always changing. Even though we've learned a lot about how planets move, Pluto's situation shows that there's still much we don't know. The planets and stars are separated by great distances, which means that crashes are rare. Planets that don't orbit any star are not common compared to the number of stars and planets that do. Crashes are not likely. Examining how Pluto's orbit is influenced by the big gas planets assists us in comprehending how our solar system functions generally. The size of each planet and its location change how the other planets move in little steps. However, even with all these difficult issues, some scientists still express concern about Pluto and Neptune crashing. So, why are these worries getting attention now, even though there are many factors keeping the two apart? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a famous physicist, has his own method of thinking about the solar system, especially Pluto. Tyson, who famously agreed that Pluto should be called a dwarf planet instead of a full planet, makes us think about how our understanding of orbits is always growing. To him, Pluto's change in status isn't bad. It shows that we're learning more about space. He thinks Pluto's complicated orbit demonstrates how much we still have to learn, and because of this, space exploration is so exciting. Tyson also knows that when big space events occur, individuals become more interested in astronomy. He thinks things like Pluto's strange orbit and its status shift are chances to get people thinking and understanding the universe better. By discussing the exciting and occasionally strange parts of how orbits work, Tyson hopes to get more people interested in space science, not just scientists. Tyson continues to warn people about the dangers of Pluto's unpredictable orbit. After studying it extensively, he's worried that the three-body problem could be a real danger, meaning Pluto and Neptune could crash sometime in the future. He also says that if that happens, it could disrupt the balance of the solar system and even affect planet Earth. A crash like that would be enormous and release a lot of energy, possibly breaking Pluto apart because it is made of ice and is small. The pieces from the crash could spread around the solar system and be dangerous to other planets and moons. For Neptune, the crash could even change its orbit or atmosphere, depending on the circumstances. A well-known theorist, Michio Kaku, a physicist known for his work in string theory and sharing his ideas with the public, also provides helpful thoughts on this. According to Kaku, studying how planets move is related to larger issues in physics. He thinks Pluto's orbit is like looking into the future of space exploration and learning how gravity impacts planets like Neptune and Pluto is important for planning future trips. It could help us travel through the solar system's outermost regions and avoid dangers. Kaku also says that what we learn from the orbit of Pluto can help us study other objects in space, giving us a way to reach and learn about far-off places. Kaku frequently discusses planets when he speaks, pointing out the deep connection between how orbits function and theoretical physics. He thinks the complicated ways planets pull on each other with gravity, like Pluto and Neptune's dance. Show the basic rules of the universe. Kaku's work, especially in string theory, tries to explain these rules. He asserts that studying planetary orbits, especially ones as complicated as Pluto's, can reveal deeper insights into the nature of reality. Kaku, like Tyson, has thought about what would happen if Pluto and Neptune collided. From his perspective, it would be a significant event for astronomy and could help string theory progress. String theory says that particles are not just points but tiny vibrating strings, and it tries to connect all the forces and matter in the universe. A large impact outside the solar system could create extreme gravity and energy, giving us a chance to see how matter and forces act under those conditions. One important aspect for string theory is the gravitational waves that would be released by the crash. These waves could provide crucial information for testing predictions about gravity and spacetime as predicted by string theory. 
Despite the fact that Earth probably wouldn't be physically affected because it's so far away, the scientific consequences of such a space event could be huge, helping us understand basic forces and matter better. Pluto's orbit is an excellent illustration of how the planets move, demonstrating both patterns and chaos in our solar system. The strange effect of gravity on its path, influenced by massive planets like Neptune, shows how complicated and ever-changing space is. The universe has many mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one. Scientists are thinking about other possible disasters, and while planetary collisions are highly unlikely, they are not impossible. The three-body problem depicts how gravity changes planetary orbits in crowded systems like TRAPPIST-1, which has seven Earth-sized planets. Gravity can produce patterns in the orbits, and over time, these patterns can make the orbits unstable, possibly resulting in collisions. Even though TRAPPIST-1 is stable now, astronomers are watching its planets to study how objects packed close together affect each other, particularly in relation to gravity. This research aids in our comprehension of how orbits change in general. Rogue planets, which drift through space after being ejected from their star systems by gravity, add another level of unpredictability. These planets can travel huge distances and perhaps venture into other star systems. If a rogue planet enters a new solar system, there's a small chance it could collide with one of the planets. However, because space is so vast, the chances of that happening are very small. Studying how the gas giants affect Pluto's orbit helps us comprehend how our solar system works. Each planet's mass and location change the motions of other objects in small ways. Still, despite all these complicated factors, some top scientists keep warning about a possible Pluto-Neptune crash. 